Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to solve a question based on block diagram reduction technique. So, evaluate the closed loop transfer function of a system whose block diagram is given as. And what we need to do is, we need to find out the transfer function of a system whose block diagram is given by the help of block diagram reduction technique. So, let's analyze this complete block diagram and try to find out the point of initiation from which we are going to start the block diagram reduction. So here are the two blocks that is G2 and G3 are connected in parallel combination by the help of this summer. So we can easily initiate our block diagram reduction technique from this point. So our first step is solving blocks G2 and G3 in parallel so since G2 and G3 are connected in parallel with both positive polarity that's why its equivalent will now become G2 plus G3 now let us redraw the whole block diagram since G2 and G3 are in parallel so its equivalent will be like this and also G1 is in series with this equivalent so we can say that it will get multiplied with G1 also so we can directly write this equivalent it is G1 G2 plus G3 and here is the C that is output here is the takeoff point which is applied to H1 also the output of H1 is applied to the summing point with positive polarity that is being connected with another feedback gain that is H2 and it is being applied to this summing point here is an another takeoff point with G4 gain which is being connected with this summing point with negative polarity so this is the simplified block diagram now let understand that what is happening here so here is a feedback gain that is H1 which is connected in series with this H2 by the help of this summing point now we can easily eliminate this summing point by the direct connection since H1 and H2 are in series so we can directly connect it and also in this loop this loop starts from this takeoff point will go through this gain that is G4 and it is going through this summing point through this feedback gain H2 since G4 and H2 is also in connected in series combination so we can easily reduce this summing point and reduce the complexity of this whole block diagram so now redrawing the block diagram we get here is an R that is given as an input to the summing point with positive polarity and here is again G1 G2 plus G3 and here is a C after that here is a takeoff point which is connected with feedback gain H1 
since h1 and h2 is in series that's why we can directly connect it and h2 is connected with this summing point with negative feedback so we can easily connect it also here is a takeoff point which is being connected to g4 here the g4 is then connected to h2 so g4 and h2 are in series combination <coughs> now the h2 is directly connected with this summing point so we can also directly connect it so what we did here is we just reduce the complexity of above block diagram and reduces into simple block diagram now h1 and h2 is in series so the equivalent gain will now become h1 h2 and also g4 and h2 is in series so the equivalent gain will now become g4 h2 so we can redraw this whole block diagram by the help of equivalent gain so our third step is nothing but g4 and h2 are in series combination and also h1 and h2 are in series connection so our block diagram will look like this g1 g2 plus g3 here is c and here is the equivalent of h1 and h2 that are connected in series so it become h1 h2 and it is applied to this summing point and also here is a takeoff point having the gain g4 h2 that is being also applied to this summing point so this is simplified block diagram now let us analyze this system here is a one branch that is given as an input having the gain equals to 1 and also here is a another forward path having a gain equals to g4 and h2 these two branches that is this branch and this branch is connected in parallel combination so we can say that its equivalent will now become here gain is 1 only and here is the gain is g4 h2 which is connected with negative sign so here negative sign and g4 h2 so the equivalent gain of this system will become 1 minus g4 h2 and also this is the feedback system and what type of feedback is it it is a negative feedback because the feedback gain that is h1 h2 is connected with negative sign and we also know that the transfer function for the negative feedback is equals to g over 1 plus g h here the value of g is nothing but g1 multiplied with g2 plus g3 
and h value is nothing but h1 h2 so substituting the values we get our equivalent gain equals to g1 g2 plus g3 over 1 plus g1 g2 plus g3 into h1 h2 so this is the equivalent gain now in the step number four we have to solve the block and the gain which is connected in parallel and also the feedback system so solving negative feedback system and blocks connected in parallel we get here is an R which is applied and in place of this whole summing point and this block we can write our equivalent gain that is nothing but 1 minus G4 H2 1 minus G4 H2 will come here and in place of this whole feedback system that is G1 G2 plus G3 and H1 H2 we can write our equivalent gain that is nothing but equals to G1 G2 plus G3 over 1 plus G1 G2 plus G3 into H1 H2 and this is our output that is nothing but C now these two blocks are in series combination so we can say that sorry for the interruption but here is a one correction here the G4 is fed to this summer with a negative polarity and when we redraw it, it then we are feeding it to the H2 directly but we doesn't remember this negative polarity so in place of G4 we have to write minus G4 here and if we calculate the equivalent of these two blocks that are connected in series then it will become minus of G4 into H2 so minus sign will come here Similarly, minus sign will be here that is minus of G4 into H2 since it is a positive field, positive path having the gain equals to 1 so here is 1 and it is in parallel with minus G4 H2 with a negative polarity so minus and minus will become plus so here plus sign will come so the equivalent will become 1 plus G4 H2 now these two blocks are connected in series so solving blocks in series we get our overall transfer function will be equals to one plus g4 h2 multiplied with g1 multiplied with g2 plus g3 whole divided by one plus g1 g2 plus g3 h1 h2 
we just simply multiplied these two blocks and got this transfer function after simplification so this is the overall transfer function thank you